here on, on sustainability of how Glams and Wikipedians can keep talking after the presidents have gone. Yeah. 
discussion because I don't know the answer. I 
Library and Archive, and it's called. Oh, yeah. Do you want to introduce yourself? So my name is uh, Akram, or and I was, or I still am, to be the British uh, President of the Dutch National Library and Archive, so my function. And so what I think we did is to answer the question, how do you uh, find the convenience of and use your, uh, your stuff? I think one very important thing that we noticed is the one thing that doesn't work is say we've uploaded some thousand images, Wikipedians go and add them to your articles because people are like, hell no, I mean, I'm not your sleeve. So basically, what we found out is if you do it, but you do it in very subtle ways, then it can actually be quite work, especially if you combine it with news. So, for example, one thing we did is that Barack Obama visited Amsterdam uh, a few months back, and there was this declaration of friendship between the Dutch and the Americans. And actually, this this real piece of paper is in the National Archives. So what we did is we put up scans, I bought scans of these, uh, this, this, this friendship treaty. And I posted a little, very small uh, notice in the finish one, like, yeah, we've got this, this interesting image, and oh, there's no article for it. Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that stupid? And sure enough, like, in, in 30 minutes, this whole article was written and, you know, combined with images and things. But if we would have put the line and said, like, okay, the Wikipedians go and write this article, it would have been, you know, it would have been seen as a, how do you go, as, 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 as almost like, you know, you, 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 you are my, my so it's it's finding like very subtle ways to kind of uh, engage the community itself, you know. The talk paid equivalent of creating BuzzFeed clickbait, basically. I think so, yes.
left, if you got the job at another library or another university or something like that, how confident would you feel that the institution would continue a relationship with you? Um, it might not uh, continue as uh, the same rate. Intensity, because for intensity you have to have passion. You have to have somebody who wants. I check the reference desk at 11 o'clock in the evening, and if anybody asks me a question, I answer it immediately. That requires a little bit of passion or insanity, depends on how you look at it. Um, so uh, if I leave, that might not happen. But uh, the library, uh, it took a bit of convincing to get into a collaborate with Wikipedia, but once the the benefits, they want, they want to continue. We get people to come from all over the country uh, to Jerusalem, to the National Library, to learn how to edit Wikipedia. 90% of the people who have never been in the National Library, some of them didn't even know there was a National Library of the State of Israel. So every time somebody like that gets to us because of Wikipedia, we're incredibly happy. Uh, I'd like to add other things. You know, one of the other things you can really explain the, 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 the why the you can, as a, as a clan, you can find new people that will never would have come to your institution otherwise. I mean, for example, I remember when I was in Africa, was part of the tank in 2009, many of the, especially the small museums, were very surprised to have all these people that love photography, because you were used to either in school classes or elderly people, but you weren't used to the people photography. So I think it's, it's very nice if you can find like a niche of people that actually know. Just, just look if you, for example, the, the National Library has a, has a giant as a giant collection of chess books for some reason. You know, I mean, this will be something that we could organize, just get chess people involved. It's a very small community, but they can do a lot, they are very involved, so it's the general public, come to us, you know. Yeah, we also, we also uh, work with schools, we also work uh, with
because the glam wiki relationship pages are great, but they are an entire kind of wild ecosystem where each resident has kind of followed a little bit of what's gone before and done whatever is necessary and suitable for their institution, and that's fine. But it's actually very difficult if you're a Wikipedian or if you're a glam professional to find standardized information about what these sorts of relationships entail and the kind of basic information that keep these two sides in touch. So I based it on the uh, Wikimedia Foundation's template for its staff profiles. Um, I messed around with that for a little while and then broke it in my sandbox. So I've just done these mock-ups on the slideshow, uh, on the slide program. So this is what the York Museum Trust one would look like. Uh, which is where I've been working. It's got, uh, they've got four museums and the museum gardens, so they would be linked to there, uh, linked to the actual project page if there was a project page, and there might not always be, linked to a comments cap if there was one. Basic contact info, which hopefully, in many cases, might be a librarian, not a Wikipedian. Um, and actually, where image requests and uh, information requests could go. Actually centralizing these sorts of, like the Wikipedia library, like the resource exchange, but as a GLAM uh, central resource. Um, so, and then ideally with some lovely pictures down at the bottom highlighting the sorts of image donations that have already happened from that institution. What it could also have, more controversially, is pages that cover glams that aren't interested. If you try and make contact with a glam and they go, thank you very much, we're doing our own thing. We're locking down our copyright. We've got no staffing for digital. We can't do any of this. You very politely write down what has happened and you save another Wikipedia that tried to bang on that door. Now, it's a more controversial suggestion, it doesn't have to happen, but that's something I'd like to discuss. The other element of the directory in terms of the framework, redirects, so that a, a, you don't want a page for every museum when they're all run by the same charity or the same local government organization. Translation would be a big issue. Categorization, so you can find all the archaeology museums or all the fine art galleries. Um, and a template, this is what I think would be key to ensuring that Wikipedians start to filter through to these resources is a template for the bottom of every Wikipedia article about the museum itself, which says, this museum has been involved in GLAM. Find its directory page here. Um, that's my idea. I, we're gonna, we are going to pilot it uh, in Yorkshire. Uh, Oh, there's a basic, we're going we're gonna to start with a basic pilot and, and uh, YMT have agreed to, do, to try it out for themselves and we won't do it without the permission of any of the museums so far and see how it goes but I'd like to throw it out to the community as a way of, as a tool, a tech tool towards these sustainable relationships and there's been a hand up over there for ages now.
we're just cracking on with what we can do for now. Um, but but we're open, which is which is brilliant. One at the back, yeah. So uh, what about the commons uh, for templates for exactly the same stuff? Because they are already in the system of uh, for, for templates for uh, institutional uh, for cooperation yeah. on commons, and you just repeat this idea in fact. So I would like rather to put it on commons or just to combine this yeah. in one system because uh, all this basic information is actually stored uh, on institutional of uh, templates which are really useful because you can use them also for description of single pictures, link them yeah. with other systems and it creates a network which is ready to use right now. And uh, on commons there are also commons dot pages about co that direct cooperation. So okay. this is just repeating. I, I, I don't, I don't, I, yeah, I'm not fussy where this goes. Um, <coughs> what I don't feel at the moment about those commons institution templates is that they cover um, communication. They're not a, they're not a trigger for dialogue. They are a yes, they're a rubber stamp to say no no not only but because they are these uh, 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 the sh short templates which are used just uh, uh, in the description of pictures yeah. but then you have a bigger templates which are used in categories mm -hmm. and then there are pages common stuff like for example Bundes Archive and then you have quite a lot More of information right. about the cooperation, contacts, links and you can just use it right now. It's ready. Okay. Brilliant. Let's do that then. Uh, but I, I think that this sort of template with this sort of divisions are nice and neat and clear for glam professionals to see in a way that I mean the glam perhaps more glam, the glam wiki is not, not, not very popular, so well but it would appear in searches on the main on the main Wikipedia in a way that commoners might need to be yeah. in. Uh, sorry, Jonathan and there was I saw another hand but it's now forgotten. Yeah. Um, I can grab the microsecond. Yeah. Um, back on the issue about um, naming and shaming lambs that don't want to work with on Wikipedia's and um, it is this this complex issue here because at the same on one hand we've got a number of people in the country and we don't want to wind up with several people all trying to go to the same land for, for a period of months. On the other hand, um, uh, we can't have data protection reasons for diplomatic reasons, all sorts of reasons. We really don't want a situation where we're naming and shaming the lands that we think are too lazy to work for us or various other negative phrases like that. Um, so I would suggest that it's a geographical photo. In the UK, we're trying to do it through our plan committee, through myself as plan organizer. There is a certain amount of, of, of regional focus as well, that, for example, Yorkshire is now yours. Um, you're welcome to it. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> take it as well if you want. No. Um, <laughs> but it, it, it isn't easy. Um, but the the obvious sort of easy, one easy way of doing it, of, of Hung it all on the wiki where we hope that they'll all be too technophobic to actually look at it is not a safe thing to do. And it does mean sometimes in a very open organization you do actually need to hold you to, to keep some things secret. And it's not just the, the commercial decisions you're making about how much money you're prepared to put into one big Wikipedia and the rest of the role as opposed to another. And that sort of thing. It is reasonable to keep that confidential to decision makers within your chapter. Sure. There's one addition. We've <coughs> only got five minutes, by the way, guys. Five minutes? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, the suggestion about using commons as the as place for this, mm -hmm. I, I think there, there are some problems with that because actually much of this information is already available, but some of it is on commons because of an imagination, some of it is on a local Wikipedia, because for example, you know, most Wikipedia yeah. have, have a local page on their local Wikipedia. So I would probably see this more something maybe on Arc, where you can link to all these different places instead yeah. of trying to shove it on comments. Because you know, in comments, for example, uh, you could have technical details about an upload that would not be appropriate on this page. But I think like one central place for uh, like just gathering all the links to all these different resources. I think that's something that we don't actually have right now, yeah. and that would be. More suitable for outreach than for problems or uh, any local computers. And if anyone who's good at templates wants to get in touch about building this template, either on English Wikipedia or uh, on Outreach or wherever we decide to play with it, uh, please get in touch. Because <laughs> I've broken this, the, the original template, the user info template, several times now. Um, anything else? Yes.
uh, in Yorkshire will be using my previous experiences and the experiences with the staff at your museum's trust to broadcast to the rest of the region. And uh, in the film, the, in the outcuts that you didn't see, there's actually an interview with the numismatics curator as well about his experience of the residency. So that could, uh, but he already works with other museums in the region as a specialist numismatist, and he will be helping them connect up using comments as well. And um, just add to that, that uh, because the, the Glam Project was so successful in the National Library of Israel, that other organizations contacted us yeah. and asked, okay, how do we do it? Where do we sign up? And I started the same thing with the University of Haifa and in other places. Thank you. 
because um, they've been very important for the uh, cultural and political life of 20th century Mexico. The handcraft traditions have been documented mostly by American tourists who come in, see all this cool stuff, and want to know something about it. So a lot of my sources on Wikipedia articles have been in, uh, starting in English. Um, limited, to, more limited to test in documenting artists and even worse for the uh, for artists. I have a long list of artists and artisans that deserve Wikipedia articles. Just because, it, some of them because they're in Salon de la Pasta Mexicana, they believe they're an honor society, you're chosen by the Mexican government as a notable artist, therefore you meet a nobility by 
there because in many countries, like for example, I noticed in the States and to some extent in Europe, this idea of bottom up bubbling up of ideas, okay, doesn't it, it's much harder to do in Mexico than than say in the United States. You, I for three years I've been pushing for Wikipedia in my in my school system, and only this year are teachers taking me seriously because I finally got the attention of the higher ups in Monterey that just said, hey, this is a good idea, and now everybody around me is now saying this is a good idea. So you have to have this top down going along. Okay, a couple of conclusions very briefly. It, as you notice, it's not that our it's not that the issues are.
pressure uh, for, for many countries in Europe, in North America, is to go for the low hanging fruit, and which are the well documented things and the easy to get at things. What it seems like you guys are doing is doing, being forced to go for the much more challenging things straight away. And I wonder whether there are actually lessons there that transport back, as it were, I'm being unfortunately accidentally Eurocentric, but, but transport to Europe and uh, the US and Canada that are about how to engage with craft communities and uh, other communities who document their knowledge orally or otherwise that um, we really should be learning from you. Um, and yeah, more of a comment, but, but, but yeah. The interesting thing, at least in, in, our case, in the case for the artists and artists in Mexico, it's low hanging fruit and high hanging fruit at the same time. Yeah. Because Mexico depends very heavily on tourism, and part of its way of promoting itself is through its art, art and art, uh, art and, uh, artist and artist in history. So you would think there would be more documentation. The interesting thing about it, especially after, I would say for artists after what they call the Generación de la Cultura in the 1950s, and for artisans, artisans in general, it's not as highly valued in the country as it is outside of the country. I can definitely the artisan because it's in, in related to the indigenous peoples and the poor peoples in the, in the rural areas. Most Mexicans don't understand the value 